Hello, everyone, and welcome to this European Shatsu Congress partnered webinar with New Energy Work. I'm very, very happy to have uh, Michelle O'Doul with me um, for what I'm sure will be a very interesting webinar. I'm just going to play the intro video supplied by the European Shatsu Congress just to get us in the mood. There we are. Looking forward to ESC 2020. And look at all the people typing in. They're from all over the world here. Um, quite a lot from France, uh, Greece, all over the world. This breaks all records. We've had the last count 729 registrations for this webinar. Some of you will be watching the recording. So that's absolutely awesome. Um, and I just like, before Michel uh, shares some of his work, I'd just like to introduce him. And I've got uh, a couple of slides just to show you. Um, so here we are. Here we are, Michel Abdul. And this is, as I say, a part of webinar with New Energy Work and the European Shiatsu Congress. Um, Michel Abdul is one of the first Shiatsu practitioners in Europe. Uh, he's been studying e uh, Shiatsu and Eastern psychology since 1978. He founded the French Institute of Shiatsu and Psychology, Corporal Appliqué, if I don't, pardon my French accent, Michel, 1996. <laughs> um, that's just one of his books there because he's actually published more than 15 books on the meaning of disease and Shiatsu. Um, and I've read one of them myself, which is this one, What Your Aches and Pains Are Telling You. And it's the other title in French is Show Me, Your, Show Me Where It Hurts and I'll Tell You Why. Um, and he's a student of uh, Nakazono Masahiro Sensei, um, who's actually an Aikido teacher and uh, Aikido practitioner, and we'll no doubt be hearing a lot more about uh, about that in this webinar. So, um, so thank you so much, Michelle, for taking the time to share your your work with us on this webinar. Oh, you're welcome. It's a real pleasure for, and I'm very proud to be here with you. Great, that's absolutely great. Um, so I've got some polls, just in case you're wondering, um, just in case you're wondering, whoa, 152, we've got 152 people attending. That's absolutely awesome. Okay, um, I've got a few polls here so we can find out a little bit about all of you uh, who have tuned in. I'd like to find out, first of all, whether you are a student, practitioner, or a teacher of Shiatsu. I'm going to share that poll with you. So just vote on it and let us know just roughly uh, what your level of experience is so we've got an idea. And then we'll find out a little bit about how long you've been doing shiatsu and stuff like that. Yep, we've got, uh, here we are, 70%. So we've got quite a lot of um, shiatsu teachers. Most of them are shiatsu practitioners. And we've actually got 25% are other, which is a record for us. That's a real record. So we've got maybe some psychologists. Maybe you can type in the chat and let us know what your background is. It's very unusual to have such a large, obviously, it's a reflection of your broad appeal, Michelle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Um, let's uh, just going to hide that. Go back into the chat and let's let's just launch another one. Um, yeah, I'd like to know how long you've been doing Shiatsu. Uh, so how long have you been doing shiatsu uh let's just find out what kind of experience we've got here just so that michelle's got an idea of where you're at in your work yeah yeah and look we've got a very big proportion of highly experienced people we've got a third of them have more than 15 years experience yeah so that's absolutely incredible there um yep pretty well spread over the rest of them, but you've got the majority, the, actually the majority of people have more than 15 years experience. So that's pretty incredible. That's yeah, pretty right. incredible. Yeah. Okay. So we're just moving along here. I just, let's just, uh, should we ask them what they're, I'd like to ask them, well, first of all, I think I might ask them how well they know um, your work. Let's just see. Um, 
how well do you know Michelle's work? Share now. Oh yeah. How do you, well do you know Michelle's work? Okay, wow, you've got we've got ten percent of the people, quite a lot, have studied with you personally. There must be some people you recognise there in the in the chat. Yeah. And quite a lot of people have read one or more of your books, 20%. So 34% of the people roughly have quite familiar with your work and 65% roughly, um, it's their first time. So there we are. Yeah, fine. <laughs> so that's really good. And I think just one other thing, which is I just because of the the spiritual aspect is a uh, – oh, you've got a lot of people – um, posting French into the chat there. Bonjour. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, let's just find out how um, would you rate your understanding? Um, how would you rate your understanding of the Shen or the spiritual aspects of the Meridians? That's what I think Michelle would like to know because that's the theme of his um, of his presentation. So he can pitch the level for him for for him. Okay, so there we go. Look, we've actually got fifty about fifty percent rate themselves. Their their understanding is very good or good. Mm. So that's quite again quite high, but roughly half. Um, yes. So that's interesting. So, Michelle, welcome. Um, I was very interested to read your book, and I'm going to be and uh, it's great to meet you in the rehearsal. So I'm really looking forward to the next 50 minutes, 55 minutes, finding out more about your work. And I suppose a question that I often get asked, and um, I'm sure people ask you this, but I'm sure a lot of the people who haven't met you would be interested to know is how did you get into shiatsu? I mean, what what? How did you discover shiatsu? Why did you make it your your life's work? Oh, it's a long story. It would yeah. take more than 55 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Okay. Well, you'll have to just give us a five-minute version. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, uh, I discovered Shetsu through Aikido. Uh, uh -huh. At that time, in the 70s, at the end of the 70s, but beginning in the middle of the 70s, I was working in, 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 in traditional job. I was a, a commercial director in the society, and one of my friends told me if I wanted to 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 get uh, uh, decontracted and less stress, I could practice uh, a martial art from Japan, which is called Aikido. So I I, I, I followed his, his his piece of advice, and and uh, I met at that time the first time I saw uh, like a solo sensei. Who was an Aikido master? He was one of the three Aikido masters that Ueshiba Sensei sent to France to teach uh, uh, Aikido. But in yeah. the same time, Nakasano Sensei was also a Shiatsu uh, uh, practitioner and a, a Shiatsu teacher. And uh, we decided with my wife to go to one initiation uh, of Shiatsu to discover what was uh, Shiatsu at that time. It was very unknown. It was uh, it was the word that nobody were, knew uh, yeah. what it means. And, yeah. and um, at that time, my wife had a, 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 a ache on a knee, and uh, our medicine told her she had nothing, but she had a, a, a pain on, on, on that knee. And yeah. Nakasano Sensei uh, told her when he saw that he, she she had an uh, ache, uh, told her to to lie down, and he took her feet, not the knee, he, uh -huh. he, he, he pressed on the point on on the foot. My my wife uh, uh, shouted, <laughs> and and had no more pain on on her knees. And at that time, we met together uh, a vision of the world and of the health. Uh, yeah. Unknown for us, but efficient, and yes. we decided to begin to study it. And uh, I yeah. put my finger, and then my my hand, and then my arm, and then all my body into shiatsu. So that yes. at one time I had to decide to leave my job, oh. uh, to 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 learn intensive shiatsu, and and after to practice it. Yes. Wow. So when did you start practicing shiatsu then? Um, I started practicing shiatsu at the end of, of uh, the 70s. At the end of the 70s. Wow, yeah. that is really early. Yes. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, it was at that time, it was something very special because it was not a, a, a tendency, it was not no. known. Uh, no. It was a real, real uh, uh, spring into, into unknown. Uh, um, and um, I decided to, to secure uh, the beginning of my work, uh, uh, financially speaking, but I didn't know how. And, yeah. and one morning I had a flash that uh, bring me to, 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 to find how to financial, uh, secure my, my job. Yes. Uh, it was, it was one morning. It was a time where, uh, 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 a great film had a great success that was, uh, mm -hmm. told, uh, called, excuse me, Star Wars. And at that time, my nephew, uh, told me, oh, it's a pity there is no toy. Uh, like this uh, Lazarus word that is used in, 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 in the film by the, the heroes. And mm -hmm. one morning I went to my job, I saw a policeman with a small light stick and I understand how I had to do it. And I mm -hmm. was the first one in Europe to, to sell, to build and to sell a Lazarus word as a toy. A laser sword. Yeah, a laser sword. Star Wars. My yeah. first energy work. Because <laughs> <laughs> of the key projection. I know yeah. why, because yeah. of the key projection. That's right. It's funny because my teacher, Pauline Sasaki, was a great, uh, a great admirer of that film, The uh -huh. Force. Yeah. You know, it, was, it influenced a lot of her work, you know, yeah. so there we are. Yeah. You're in good company there. <laughs> there, there, um, is a, there is a spiritual philosophy in that film that is quite near uh, to Japanese and, 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 and uh, uh, extreme oriental philosophies of life. The, the, this concept of force, of energy, this concept of, of, of balance between uh, uh, dark and, and, and light. Uh, it's, it's a real uh, uh, Shiatsu concept. It's a it real is. philosophy. Of I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, it is. It's, there's a lot of Shiatsu um, energy work in that film, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a brilliant story. That's a brilliant story. I mean, I start. I started in 1981, so I was only just a little bit after you, but I was in the next decade, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was the same. I mean, I was the first, one of the first uh, shiatsu practitioners to work professionally as shiatsu, and it was hard in the beginning. I mean, I worked part time in another another job uh, in the whole food industry as I built it up, you know. But um, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we've got lots of French, uh, a lot of French contributions to the chat i'm sorry my french is not up to it um we uh yeah <laughs> it is it is uh the european chats congress uh is going to be in english so i'm afraid uh, we we may better translate some of it and the other thing i'd like to also offer to you um is that we've got michelle's slides which are in english and french as a handout yeah. so they're both in both languages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um would you like I'm going to share those now. I'm going to share them now. You'll see um, a link there. So if you download that, you will have all the material in French. Uh, so that will help you um, uh, understand it if English is not your yeah. first language. We'll have to try and speak slowly and clearly yeah. for the, those who are understanding your French. Okay. Would you, would, you, so, would you like me to translate just shortly what you've said? Uh, ok, you can say that in French. Yeah, yeah go on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Je voudrais juste dire à tous les, les, les Français qui regardent et qui suivent euh, cette, euh, cette vidéoconférence, ce webinaire, euh, qu'ils peuvent, s'ils vont cliquer sur le lien qui leur a été mis à disposition, ils vont pouvoir avoir tous les slides, ils vont pouvoir avoir toutes les, 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 les pages de préparation qui sont à la fois en anglais et à la fois en français, qui vont concerner le contenu à la fois de ce que nous allons voir dans ce webinaire et de ce que je présenterai, que je proposerai lors du congrès de Chiatsu Amsterdam en septembre. Ok, great. I understood some of that. <laughs> It's a long time since I did French at school. Yeah. Sorry about that. Ok, so would you like to just go through some of your slides now? Maybe we can get through some of the material. We've got um, 45 minutes left, so yeah. we can maybe leave some time for questions as well. Yeah. Um, great. Ok, so I'll load your slides up. Let's have a look. Uh, here we go, here they are, there we go, okay. So do you want me to put them? Uh, yeah, you, you, you can put them. I can move them yeah. on, yeah. Okay, yeah. so this is one of your books, isn't it? Yeah. This one is the first one which, which shows 
it, it, it's a way of, 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 traducing, of translating the, the idea of, uh, of Chinese medicine and, and, and uh, energetical uh, uh, shiatsu, that is that uh, the human being has a special position between earth and heaven. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me when you want to... Yeah, okay. Move on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey. All right, okay, here we go. Following what I said, uh, the, 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 the human being is the way, is, is the way, is, a, is the, 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 form of, the form of life where the balance between the two forces, the two energies that constitute the universe, that is the yin and the yang, and the equilibrium, the balance between the yin and yang is the balance of uh, the health and the, the, the well-being for, for, for human beings. Right. Okay. Yep. Human being following the uh, the TCM, the traditional Chinese medicine, uh, needs for for existing uh, three kinds, three levels of energies, which are metabolized through three parts, three levels in his bodies, which are called the three heaters, where the three kinds of energy are metabolized are. are uh, um, uh, uh, used the, the the down energy from earth the energy from heaven and the ancestral energy which are uh, uh, also uh, associated to constitute the vital energy which is going uh, and is distributed through the meridians uh, uh, in the body mm -hmm. in the in the last uh, uh, in one of the last uh, webinars, Joyce explained the, the, the different kinds of energy through the genes, the qi, and the shen, which are the, That's right, the inner landscape, wasn't yeah. it? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, it's another way of saying the same thing. You know? Yes. Okay. Following the TCM uh, 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 comprehension of, of the world and the human beings. Uh, energy is uh, flowing through the meridian at special time moments of the day and the night. And each two hours, there is a special meridian and an organ which, which gets his energy. And the balance through the, the flow of his energy through the, the circadian uh, uh, um, time is very important to know because uh, following that, we can identify the first kind of, of, uh, of disease that can appear. Right, okay. Following. Yeah. yeah. That's the, the scheme of the, 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 the five principles of the Chinese traditional medicine. And wood, fire, earth, uh, metal, and, and, and water. Uh, that is a, a pentaform vision of the world and, and uh, of our universe that can be uh, also illustrated through the five dragons. The dragon is the representation of the key of the energies. And uh, you have here a, a, a shame representing the five dragons and the color of each energy. The green dragon is wood, the red dragon is fire, the, the, the yellow dragon is earth, the, the, the white dragon is metal, and the, the dark dragon is water. And what you can say is that each dragon has in his mouth a pearl, which is symbolizing the energy which is controlled by this dragon. So the green dragon has a yellow pearl in his mouth because the energy of wood controls the energy of earth and so on. The, the, the yellow dragon has a dark pearl in his mouth because earth controls water and so on. And you have here the representation of all the, the, the ordinancement between uh, uh, the five principles. And another small detail which is interesting is in, in that representation, the dragon have uh, uh, legs uh, with five fingers. Normally, dragons are representative with three or four fingers. But here, the five fingers means that in each principle, there are five under principles which are re, uh, uh, corresponding to the five principles. So in the wood principle, you have the wood of the wood, you have the fire of the wood, you have the earth of the wood, you have the metal of the wood, you have the water of the wood. And this precious information is very important because it will define it and it will determine the use of the antique points using 
energy for working not on the quantity of energy but on the quality of the energy and yeah. we will speak again about we will speak again uh, about that okay cool yeah hello i love the i love the dragon metaphor yeah. that's great and I, I haven't seen that before with the thing in the mouth the pearl in the mouth that's yeah. a great idea yeah yeah yeah, yeah in, <laughs> In the, in the symbolic of uh, 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 the pearl, the pearl is, is what you find on the, in the oysters. So it is a, a, a controlled uh, hidden energy that is inside and, and, and that the, the dragon controls and in, in his mouth. I see, it controls it, yeah. yeah. Without really damaging it, that's the interesting thing, yeah. controls yeah. it without destroying without it, yeah. Anything. Like, like, like a lion uh, uh, mother that wears is a small one in his yes. mouth without damage. Yes. Just controlling. Yeah, interesting. Very when interesting. When you have here the presentation of, of, of a human body with all the meridian charts, and the, it, it, because there are different uh, styles in shiatsu. You have st uh, shiatsu style, which doesn't uh, use energy uh, concept. You have uh, uh, Masunaga style, which use energy concept, uh, but with its own chart. And you yes. have uh, uh, styles that use the TCM chart uh, uh, of Meridian. And this one are the, the Chinese uh, chart. Yeah. It's interesting, actually, because um, um, I'm just going to put something on the chat for people. If you do want to ask a question, if you can put uh, a question mark um, by your post, then I can flag it up and then I can search for it later on. Um, and then we can ask some questions later. So if you want to ask a question, just post it up and I'll keep an eye on it. I'll try and uh, keep a track on them. Yeah. It's interesting because Masnaga's... Um, Meridian map, yeah. as you know, has uh, all of the, um, it has all the meridians on all the arms and legs. Um, a lot of them, about 75% of them, correspond with the six divisions, you know, like the liver and the heart protector and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but some of them are not the six divisions, and there's reasons for that. But the interesting thing, I think, is that it's uh, it's a holographic, more of a, it goes towards the holographic, you know, which I know you mentioned more than once in your book, the idea of the energy system being a holographic system. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know, that means, that doesn't mean that one kind of shiatsu or, or vision of shiatsu is right and the other are, are, are false. That means that, you, you know, human being life, uh, energy is, is, a, is a, a, a map with different uh, uh, enter possibilities. Yeah, I totally and, agree. And the, I the, totally agree, yeah. You know, and yeah. the vision of, of, of Masunaga Sensei was a, a, a very particular vision uh, um, based on his work, his own work, was he noticed. And he noticed some things that when you work on the body in a special position it has yes. an effect on this energy and yes. following that he deducted his uh, own chart yes absolutely yeah that's right so what have we what have we got here we've got here, the channels here you have a, the different kinds of representation you can have of uh, meridian you have on the upper side on left you have the the old the ancient chart of the of the uh, uh, long uh, uh, meridian, you have yes. on the right side, the right upper side. You have the, 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 the clinical and and, and official uh, uh, meridian uh, chart, and down you have two photos uh, I made with my extracted from one of my book, where you can see on a body the the the, the, the trajectory of the meridian, especially yes. in the middle one. The, the the part of the meridian on which we can work with the most of efficacy efficiency uh, okay because it's what it's at the the, the, the body's uh, uh, zone where the meridian comes to to the upper state and the down uh, um, chart is a chart where you can find the five antique points on which you can work on the quality of energy you have on on each meridian you have two points from two principal points yes with which you can work on the quantity too much or enough well, yes. not enough energy you can uh, uh, um, 
make a tonification. I don't know. I would tonification. Yes, tonification. Yeah. You can make yeah. tonification or dispersion of of energy. That's a quantity word. Yes. You have also five points, uh, with you, you can use not for quantity effect but for quality effect. That, okay. that on each meridian you have a point which can be used to uh, increase or, or, or down trees the, the, the wood quality or the fire quality or the earth mm. quality and so on. For yes. instance, uh, if I can give an, 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 an example of, of it, mm -hmm. you, if, everyone knows that uh, 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 if you have a bronchitis, a bronchitis is an affection of, of the lungs. So yeah. you can work on it on the uh, uh, lung meridian. But bronchitis is fire. It's an inflammation. So yes. it's not a problem of quantity of energy in the pulmon. It's a problem of quality of the energy of lung. And yes. you can work on this uh, uh, disease of quality on working on the fire point of the meridian of lung. Right. Yes. You know? Yeah. And each of the meridians have a point for each element, don't they? Each one has its own points, like you say. Yeah. Yeah. Each one at, at, at used, and, and, and we can go more, more, more farther uh, uh, on that way because uh, globally, in, in, in the way of, of, of uh, the understanding of Nakasano Sensei, uh, yeah. meridian and energy of meridian is information. It, yes, it, it brings information, and so the conscience you have of the work you are doing, the conscience yes. you have, the aim you want to get, the conscience you yeah. have in the intention you put in the point where you work is very, yes. very important. Absolutely, I totally agree. And in, in a way, and I coming back to your uh, what you said about different systems of shiatsu not being right or wrong, I think ultimately they're all systems that have that function yeah. you know they basically have the function of being able to focus your intention and have that energetic connection really yeah. um and that's um and, and funnily enough my teacher pauline sasaki always said that she said it's better to just study one system and, and study it deeply than it is to study many things just on the surface yeah because in actual fact they're all the same they're, they're all climbing the same mountain, you know what I mean? But they're yeah. just coming at it from slightly different sides, you yeah, know, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. and Nakasano like Sensei had, a, had a, also a, a, an expression and, uh, to, to, to explain that, and I will come back to it when, 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 we, when I explain how we worked. He told yes. always to ask, if you work on the global, you will always have an effect on the local. Yes. If you work just on the local you will never have an effect on the global right oh that's so interesting though yeah, yeah because that's exactly um you know uh, because the the masanaga lineage you know we had we had uh kishi uh kishi was very much like that he yeah. basically took that whole philosophy to the extreme yeah. uh, where he would work entirely globally and he would just tune into the whole field you know yeah, yeah. so yeah i think that's a i think that's a very important point and it's interesting that it's coming from different traditions that's exactly the same thing and in a way the 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 theory and the practice is just a vehicle to get you into that global yes it's a event. reference it's a it's a common language it's it's a way of understanding the things yes absolutely yeah yeah i'm just marking up loads of questions for later i'm marking them up <laughs> <laughs> you've got four so far i think at least four questions are right but we'll just keep going let's yeah. have a look at the next slide yeah <clears throat> That's a slide which uh, um, uh, explains how the, the, the TCM uh, uh, developed uh, the, the concept of uh, visceral entities. That is the, 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 the way uh, how you can make links between body and mind. All right, okay, cool. Uh, the, 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 the TCM uh, posed the concept that uh, each body is... Uh, is, is, is drive, is, is uh, 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 put it in movement through a spirit. Right, okay. So yeah. if you can uh, understand it for a, a body, for instance, for a human being, a human being is the body and it's a spirit, and the spirit drives the body. 
Yes. But the spirit needs the body to be uh, carried. Yes. They, 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 they created the ideas that if I can observe the body, which is uh, constituted, for instance, in five principal organs, yes. liver, heart, lung, and so on, yeah. I can deduct from it that there is in the spirit also five principal structures Yes. That can be put in relation with these fine physical organs. Yes. And that the spirit part depends on the energy of the organ yeah. to work and to exist. But yes. at the same time, the organ needs the energy of the spirit to be excited yes. and to work also correctly. Absolutely. Yes. If you Absolutely. have a uh, uh, an unbalance on your organ, it will have consequences on your spirit. Yes, If absolutely. you have unbalances on your spirit, on your way of thinking life, of your yes. emotional life, it will have consequences on the organ. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I totally the agree with the, that. The shen, the pro, which is called also the po, the run, yes. which is called also the hun, the yi yeah. or the yi, the j yeah. or the chi, are uh, five structural of spirit which have uh, um, uh, uh, which 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 is reposed on the five uh, principal organs shen on the heart pro on the lung uh, 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 run on the on the liver uh, yi on the on the uh, spleen and and chi on the kidneys right yes exactly yeah i i um... I remember when I was reading your book, one of the things I really loved about it was this meta lovely metaphor that you had about the spirit being in this coach. Yeah. And the conscious mind is yeah. driving the coach yeah. Yeah. with the two horses, yin and yang. Yeah. And they're like pulling the coach this way and that. And I just thought that was so interesting. It's a really nice metaphor which describes the... Uh, relationship between the conscious mind and the spirit in a way mm. like and it gives a nice model doesn't it for the whole idea of being able to release your conscious mind yeah. uh, to get more in touch with your spiritual path yeah so that there's not so much conflict there where you know the coachman's driving the horses and the spirit inside the coach is going no I don't you know want to go that way or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we will speak uh, again about it uh, um, with another presentation, another slide. Okay. Uh, because it is it, it is a way of uh, uh, also for Nakasano Sensei and for TCM to explain uh, when the disease when 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 the disease arrives in the body. They tell very precisely that disease arrives when conscience is no more in the body part where it should right. to, where it should be. Oh, uh, right. Okay. That, where your where your consciousness is. You yeah, mean your consciousness. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. Well, if if your consciousness is no more there, uh, yes. the body will 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 suffer, and and yeah. it is the explanation of the use of meditation and 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 mindfulness techniques and so on. Yes. Because driving again the conscious in every body in every every part of the body is making uh, the unity in us. Yes, absolutely, and I think. Especially, I mean, I've got very interested in the last two or three years uh, in uh, trauma therapy. And I noticed that in your book, you categorize uh, stress, trauma and disease, a yeah. kind of um, uh, gradation. Uh, yes, a kind of process that, you yeah. know, starts off. And I just think that's so interesting because I'm sure that's one of the reasons that I mean, the, mo the most fascinating thing for me when I started reading a lot of books about modern attitudes towards um, treating trauma in the medical world is that all coming round to basically body work, mindfulness, body work, meditation um, and yoga, things like that. And I think you're absolutely right, because in trauma, what happens is you basically freeze or detach parts of your body, don't you? And it's. And body work, I think, is probably it's got to be one of the best ways of literally energetically connecting that back up. Yeah, that's the right. And especially and, and with more efficiency if you work on, 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 
on the informational system, which is the meridian Absolutely. system. Of course, so, yes, because it's built in, isn't it? The link between yeah. the spiritual mind yeah. and the emotions, yeah. And you can help the body uh, releasing uh, tensions. You can help the spirit, also yes. without without using words. I know. Without using energy, and it's very, very, very yes. important. Absolutely, I totally agree. And the, the most fascinating thing about that is because a lot of conventional psychotherapy techniques have been found to be damaging because they re-traumatize. So when they bring it back into the conscious mind, it can re-traumatize, the memory can re-traumatize. Yeah. Whereas with body work, energetic body work, you can actually reorganize that energy system without That's right. consciously bringing it into the mind. That's the power of it, I'm sure. And especially yeah. because, you know, uh, emotional and traumatic memories, they find, yes. their, they find their place in our body. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yes, right in matter. our fascias. And, and, and you know, yes. if, if you just make a, a, an intellectual or emotional work, the first problem is that you can stay in the cortical uh, level yes. and not going Absolutely. down on the heart. And that's the first thing. And the insight with the patient is something very, very important. But yes. also the body work is very important because releasing the physical memory is very, very essential. The, yes. the theory, which is shown by the, 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 the slide we, we see, uh, is yeah. very, very explaining that. And, 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 and we can experiment it through, for instance, the, the, when you have, I don't know the term in English, when you make, when you, you, you change organs for people, when you make a transplant. Transplant. Transplant, yeah. There are yeah. very, very, very amazing problems and, and, and perception for people which have got a transplant. That's true. Because, yeah. because body parts were uh, memories. Yes. And so if you want to release some, some uh, uh, trauma memories, you have also to work on body. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yes, yes. It's so interesting to hear you just completely on the same page on this. Totally, absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, do, we, uh, do you want to like to move on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so this is the concept of key. Yeah, that's concept of key. I, I, I'm I'm sure uh, every people knows what's key. Uh, key, uh, the tradition of ski uh, traditionally the the, the, the rice, uh, small rice pot, which vapor. Uh, 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 how, how do we you say vapor? Where, where where the smoke is going out? Yeah, the steam. Yeah, the steam from the cooking. It's. It, I think the, the the real meaning is something a little bit more uh, 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 deep and 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 uh, yeah. because I think that it means that uh, inside of the material you have energy. Yes, it's a physical uh, uh, concept. It's Einstein concept. You yes, know? that's right. Material it, it, is energy, it, and when you yeah. break material. Yes. You release the energy. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's right. At the time, yeah. I, I, I suppose that this term is, is, is meaning that energy is also material. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But it also symbolizes the link between the spirit and the body as yeah, well, of course. That's right. Which is, which is the great advantage of Chinese medicine because it didn't have that Cartesian cut like we had in the West, which yeah. just basically separated the mind and the body and has caused problems in understanding um, the spiritual aspects of disease up until this very day. And that's, that's why I'm sure Shiatsu is so popular, because it, it heals that, that yeah. divide that you can see in that, in that uh, diagram, doesn't it? Yeah. It, 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 it treats all the, the things, not, not uh, 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 shouting the, the, the message, releasing no. the message. Sorry, what was that? Releasing the, the, the releasing the message. Right? Yeah. To, to, yeah, to 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 release, not 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 to 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 um, to fight again. To fight it. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Okay, great. Shall we move on? Yeah. Yeah. We've got. I've got five questions for you, so we better leave time at the end for five yeah. questions. Here we go. Okay, this is a bit more detailed. Yeah, this more. It's a little bit more detailed. It, 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 it's a way I explained you before because in 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 uh, uh, Nakasano Sensei way and and Chinese uh, uh, medicine way uh, they think that uh, 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 illness disease is the result of of uh, of uh, break of the unity. 
Right. Health is the unity of the body, is unity of the of the human being. It's a, it's a, yes. the complete uh, existence of the human being. And yes. as soon as one part is no more working with, like in a mm -hmm. team, you, if you have a team and all the the component of the team works together and, yes. and for the same aim, uh, it, it's a good team. When one begins not working with, it. it it begins to 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 disease and break, and yes. the, the way of of curing of, of 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 treating all the disease is to create unity again. Yes, in that way, work on the body is very important. Also, the capacity of giving sense, the capacity of 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 conducting the the patient to understand the part he took to the yes. to the unbalance is also very important. Because understanding yes. how it works is understanding how to maintain health. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. I, I, it's brought, you talking, brought to mind a client I saw a few weeks ago, a very young, a young, probably 20-year-old um, woman who had various aches and pains. And it just reminded me of your book, you know, <laughs> because basically I'm sure all the practitioners that, are listening in have had this experience so many times you know where people come in with a load of different pains and it was just so clear you know in terms of Chinese medicine mm. and it was so obviously linked to her spiritual and her emotional state and it was just a revelation to her you know she said I just never thought of it like that yeah. but it um, you know just sometimes it only takes one treatment yeah to completely change someone's entire outlook on yeah, the relationship it's, it's, between it's, their body and their spirit yeah. and their life path you know yeah yeah it's, it's incredible how it functions it's a it's right. just such a wonderful thing and i often say to my clients you know it's a one of the world's most impressive technologies <laughs> <laughs> it took many thousands of years to develop and it's so precious it's yeah. such a precious thing yeah, you know that's right. so yeah. yeah, and you know what? I I was uh, uh, last year in April. I was in in Peking in uh, in, in Beijing, uh, uh, yes. in in a Chinese traditional hospital. Uh, oh, great! Yeah, which is called the Guang Anmen Hospital. It's, it's very very great. Three three buildings, eleven uh, eleven level stages, uh, uh, yes. uh, all modern material and so on. And but the 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 professor, the, the, the doctor, yeah. the principal doctor, uh, uh, made in front of me a Qigong demonstration. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, he told to me, you know what, if you want to cure people, you have to understand what they need. You have to understand why they have lost the, the, their health, and you have to understand which way of emotional comportment has been at the, the, the root of the problem. Wow, that's you terrific! Help them. You have to group all the rest, the, the, the answers, the response to to uh, to, uh, to this. It was it was very very amazing. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. and I and before I forget, you have a lot of connections with Japan as well, don't you? Yeah. Through your school, yeah, which I think, I think you know, is great. Uh, I'm prov I'm I'm deeply convicted that uh, uh, shiatsu is a is a way of life, is a philosophy of life, and shiatsu yes. is unique. There are different styles, but all people who work on Shiatsu have the same philosophy of life. And because of that, I, I open my doors to all the, the Japanese uh, uh, Shiatsu. Namikoshi School sent me his best uh, 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 instructors. Yes. And they come every year to my institute, to instant. I, I, I received the son of Masunaga Sensei. Which, I know him. I've met him a couple of times. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, I met I met the people of of the Zen Shiatsu Association because I think I'm I'm deeply convinced that uh, uh, it's through communication, it's through sharing all our way of 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 understanding uh, the things that we will help Shiatsu to get bigger and bigger because Shiatsu is a like is a. Um, a living technique. It's not a closed and 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 definitive no. closed technique. It's it's living. It's a living, living. thing, isn't it? Every yes. day it grows. It it becomes greater and greater because many people like you and me or or, or many other people work for that and and look after uh, uh, explanation yeah. and techniques. Absolutely, and I think the European Shatsu Congress is a wonderful example of that. 
I mean, it's amazing. And, uh, you know, it's just so incredible to, because we're all, we're all so busy in our own worlds, in our own styles. And it's just so beautiful that we can get together and share because we're so close. We're like, you know, brothers and sisters and cousins that just don't see enough of each other. That's what it feels like yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was very proud to be invited. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's great. Um, shall we move yeah. on? Yeah. Yeah. We better keep an eye on the time, actually, Michelle, because we've got 15 minutes. I've got wow. seven questions so far. <laughs> so, so what have we got? You, you can go further. This, this, yeah. this slide is, is showing the position okay. of the body. That's how okay. two slides uh, uh, of, of uh, Nakasono Sensei practicing um, a special technique which is called Misogi. Misogi yeah. is a Japanese way of, 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 of how, how can I traduce it? It's, it's how to, 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 not to wash, but to, to, how to be uh, 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 dispersed from all parasites on, and, and how to right. be uh, uh, right in your in your hara and and to be clean. Uh, uh, All right, purification. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what that's the word. Yeah. Purification yeah. has been uh, uh, developed by by uh, in the Shin, uh, Shinto uh, way. That's of, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he thought uh, Nakasano Sensei uh, also following for Aikido, but he thought that uh, every Shiatsu practitioner doesn't has to work uh, to begin his work every day without preparing himself. No, I think that's very true. He has to yeah. be right, he has to be prepared, he has to be uh, concentrated and so on. And Mr. Yes. E is a way of preparing uh, ourselves. Yes, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, fantastic. So let's have a look. Yeah. Uh, here we have some... Yes, so, so some slide about the, the way. In, in the, the Nakasano Sensei technique, you have yeah. a global philosophy in, uh, that um, uh, if you want to work on, 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 on a patient, you have to identify uh, the, the reasons and, and the, the, the form of uh, the, the unbalance and, and the, the, the disease. So you have different techniques. You have the, the technique of, of uh, uh, the questions you can put here, uh, which is called yes. Japanese mon, mon, uh, uh, mon shin. Uh, yeah. uh, and you have also the palpation of, of, uh, of the, the uh, um, ambuku, uh, uh, yes. which is called the, the, the setsu shin. And shin, you have yeah. the pulsation, the, the 12 meridian uh, pulsation you can use yeah. to identify and to make an analysis uh, 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 of the kind of disease uh, of the patient. And then okay. you can go on, on. The, the way of, uh, 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 you can, Put the other slide. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was reading the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And yeah. The second All right. part of uh, the, the the specificity of of uh, Nagasano Sensei work is that you always begin working on the shoe points on your back because uh, the, these kind of points are points we are which are uh, uh, able to put in 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 balance all the meridian for the small uh, 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 unbalance of energy. Yeah. After true. making this first work of global work, uh, I spoke of, of it before, you yes. can then go on and work specifically on the meridian. And you have different way of work on the meridian in, in that way. You can put the next slide. Yeah. Uh, you can you have uh, the way you can work on the meridian with your fingers with pression. With yes. Getting one contact on the root. The the principal articulation. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, of, of the arm or of the leg, and with your yeah. arm you follow the the, the trajectory of, of the meridian. You have mm -hmm. also another way on the slide. You can yeah. you can use uh, uh, acupressure. You can use uh, a pressure with your finger on the points, uh, yes. different points, and uh, with different technique. You can you can make a, a circular pressure on one right. side on the other side if you want to tonify or not, or you can do also moxas uh, that are oh, uh, yes. this small fire uh, uh, of, of um, um, how is it. Um, yeah, moxa sticks. Most of moxa sticks and it's, sticks, it's yeah. uh, Artemisia plants. And, yeah. And with the, 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 
the, the excitation of, of, of calorics, uh, 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 you can also dynamize energy. And the yeah. three way of ag- uh, acting on the, on the energy are, are used in the, the Nakasano uh, uh, way of. All oh, right, he uses mox or anything. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. brilliant. You can go on. Okay. Yep. You have also in the Nakasano Sensei way uh, 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 osteopathics uh, 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 work. You yeah. can work on vertebras and and reposition vertebras. If you can work on 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 on, on on cerebral um, uh, uh, health uh, vertebras. Yes. Cervical. Yeah. The cervical vertebrae. Yeah. Cervical. Cervical. Uh, yeah. Dorsal, thoracical, or uh, yeah. lumbar. Lumbar. Yeah. Uh, okay. And yeah. You, you can put them in order, like like osteopathy do. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because I know that in Japan they do quite a lot of techniques like that, don't they? They incorporated them into yeah uh, shiatsu technique. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Oof, well done. We've got 10 minutes left for the questions now. I hope it was not too long. <laughs> yeah, we should be. No, that's absolutely fine. Perfect timing. We'll be fine. Um, let me work. Um, some of them are in French, actually, so I don't know uh, if my French is good enough to do it. But Catherine asks, after re- releasing physically held trauma from the body, do you think that work off the body... Um, particularly for very old trauma, clears the energetic shadow um, like the body is, the aura is the part of the egg. I mean, I don't know if you do do any techniques like that. No, uh, Nakasano Sensei and, and also myself don't work on auras. Oh, you don't? No, no okay. No, no. Yeah. We, 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 we know it, uh, we understand it, but, um, you know, Nakasano Sensei had a very, very, very important uh, 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 precaution uh, uh, way of thinking. Yes, he, he told he told us uh, very often. Uh, there are uh, it, it's the same for a uh, um, uh, particular vessel in 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 uh, in uh, also the, the the curious vessels in in, in TC. Oh yeah. So, uh, he, yeah. he didn't want we go uh, work on that because he told uh, we are not uh, great enough to, oh, really? to pretend going work there. Okay, fair enough. It's a very, <laughs> yeah. very uh, uh, complicated thing uh, for us. And yeah, sure, that, yeah. yeah. We, we understand that's a way of, of, of I explain in my book uh, the different uh, uh, stretch uh, of auras and and uh, with it that's right yes and, you've got quite a lot of diagrams on that body, yes yes yeah yeah i don't want on it i don't work on it you don't work them no no i do very little i do some but the thing is what i found is actually the energetic fields connected to the body anyway so if you yeah. work the body it'll adjust it anyway um so it all just depends where you like to work really where, yes. where you and like to work. Said, uh, another thing he said uh Body has the capacity of making uh, protection, of putting protection. If you did a, a false action and so yes. on, on the body, yeah. body yeah. has the capacity of of balance it. Yes, it absolutely. It's highly static. Yeah. On very, very, yeah. very, very sensible levels, it's more difficult. Yeah. Okay. Here's another question. Apart from shiatsu, is there? another knowledge science belief or anything that you're interested in um or that you're using or studying this is morgan asked yes. this um, question you know um, for writing my books and 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 so on i i i'm very very interested in in, in psychology the knowledge and yes. especially in carl gustav jung work uh, all right yes he, he was a great man in he, he, he understood a, a very important part of the human body and especially uh, with him because he had links, very, very deep links with, with the Extreme Orient. Uh, yes. He, he developed uh, most of his concept after reading a, an alchemic book uh, of, of old Chinese time and, and uh, the, the notion of uh, the, the concept of yin yang was very important for him. Yes, I'm also very interested in Viktor Frankl work, which is a, a, an actual a, a psychologist, we, which developed the logotherapy, which is the, the, the psycho, uh, psychological therapy with the using of the sense of the uh, of the sufferings of the suffering uh, 
people. Yes, yes. And in, in the large um, interest, I'm, of course, deeply interested in, in extreme oriental philosophy, especially yeah. Japanese. Uh, uh, through Aikido also, of course, I'm interested in Bushido, but I will see, I'm very, very interested in, in, in uh, animist philosophy and Shinto philosophy. Oh, are you? Yes, it's interesting. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, the way of explaining life the, and, and saying that what is important is not what you see, but is what is behind what you yes. see. Is, is it's so fascinating for me. Yes, yeah. yes. It, it, the person in the coach. Yeah. It, <laughs> uh, it has brought me to, to a very great interest to, to, to uh, quantic uh, physical and, and uh, uh, to understand uh, all, all our um, uh, uh, reality and our... Uh, quantum physics, isn't the it? Quantum, the quantum, yeah, yeah, quantum Yes, that's right, yeah. 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 And, and yeah. following to that, all these... these uh, 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 near-death experiences and so on to understand how the conscience and the body work together and how the yeah. link between them is very very difficult to this to to to, uh, to 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 break yes absolutely yeah okay i can't i don't think we've got time for all these questions so just one other question from karen is what keeps you excited about shiatsu you've got two minutes to tell us that <laughs> What, what keeps you excited, excited about shiatsu? Yeah, what keeps you excited about shiatsu? What in shiatsu excited myself? Yeah, no, yeah. What what makes you keep keep being excited by shiatsu? What is the thing about it that makes you? It's yeah. The, what I see in the eyes of the patients. Yes. It's it's the best thing. It's um it's a, it's, it's the most exciting uh, 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 gift. Uh, yes, and 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 not only in in uh, easy uh, situation. For instance, uh, I get some message from uh, patients which died of a cancer, and and yes. and, uh, uh, and and who give to their family letters for me uh, to give me after their death oh, to explain yeah. me how we 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 did. Uh, a very good work together, uh, yes. uh, and and all this, you know, uh, working on shiatsu, teaching shiatsu, driving a shiatsu institute, it's a, yes. it's a real work. It's not easy. It's no, it's, that's uh, right. You have always uh, some things to do. You have sometimes people who doesn't understand what you say, what you mean, what you do, and and. Yes. Uh, uh, you need to have some uh, recompense, uh, to, to, some gift li li like this to, to, yes. Uh, to get. Yes. And it's the best one. Yes, fantastic. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And and this is my sanctuary. This room is where I do my shiatsu treatments. Yeah. And out that way is the office and the phone and the computer and all yeah. the rest of it. You know what I mean? And sometimes when I close that door, I'm sure you're the same. And I'm sure all the shiatsu practitioners who are with us this evening will say will agree that it's that purity of the space of that connection yeah. like you say yeah connecting to the spirit through the eyes that yeah. is the great gift isn't it yeah exactly you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been a great pleasure michelle having you on our webinar it's been a delightful thing and thank you to all the people who have been posting in the um chat and it i'm not my french is not very good but it seems that we've had people translating what you've been saying into the chat oh fine as you've been saying it thank you so which much is, them. yeah it's very grateful for that help thank you very much um and of course as you know this is part of the european shiatsu congress partnered webinars we've got a series coming up um we've got uh, another one next month they happen at the same time every month this is the third one we've got them running all the way through and those of you that are signed up will get um, information about the next one automatically um, and we're going to work through quite a few different things so hopefully you maybe even want to come and join in on as a you know attendee on yeah. some of them yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah and i will also put link on on, on my website and and uh, uh, thank you yes yeah. yeah some of you will be watching this as a recording and we've put all the recordings on to the new energy work website and i know they're all linked on the european chats of congress website 
so and we do put sometimes put them on youtube so we're getting getting the word out out there and um yeah thank you so much we're coming up to time now mm -hmm. thank you for breaking all the records with over well over 500 uh six seven hundred people who registered that was absolutely wonderful and i really look forward to meeting you in amsterdam yeah in september it's coming up yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so we're going to say goodbye we're going to end the session thank you very much that's all right thank you thank you